Hello and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel. Now this video I've titled as the state of GT7 and it's a really tough one because I like GT7 and I think very well millions of you do and many of you who watch my videos love the game and we love all the combinations especially the daily races but it's been very disappointing if I'm honest over the last few months we're just getting the same kind of races that are going on all the time. A Group 3, a Group 4, and then maybe perhaps a specified car in Race A. But a lot of the time, like the, the Race A cars, that they're on kind of comfort soft tyres. So they don't really give a very sporty feel. And they're always on tiny circuits, maybe like Tsuba. So it doesn't really give you a very kind of, not really a competitive atmosphere or just a, a kind of fun race to want to jump in and drive. So I thought, why couldn't we have something like this? These are the Aston Martin Valkyries at Goodwood. Now, I know it's a bit more of a crazy um, uh, comparison, but you could easily do this at Spa um, or at uh, Brands Hatch or, you know, there's at Suzuka. There's lots and lots of combinations that you could come up with. And the thing is, it's great fun. It's an easy one to do, and it would just be something a little bit more interesting. Let's get on to another possible combination. How about these these wonderful um, kind of uh, racing cars? These are like the kind of radical SR13s. Great fun to drive. Here we are at Brands Hatch. I'm sure we could have a great time doing this one. And, uh, you know, it's more competitive. I would, again, say don't even have setups. Just set up the car well. Surely Polyphonic can do that for us. And let's just be able to come on and race and enjoy it. I think it'd be much more fun. And then there's a few other options that you could do with the cars for fine-tuning. Put it on racing soft tyres and then find a track combination that might fit. But Brands Hatch is great fun. And especially um, for us who like touring cars and, and real kind of racing action, it normally gives you quite a good, quite a good uh, bit of entertainment. And also there are a few overtaking opportunities, especially when you get the more road-derived cars or kind of basic racing cars or track day cars like this one. So I think that would be a lot of fun. But please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your points of view. What do you think? Are you fed up with the current system? Would you like to see a bit more variation? Well, you should see what we've got planned for the next race. There's just a, a, one more lap to go here <laughs> as we go off onto the dirt. But it is, I, I found as well, we could talk about our, the time trials at the same time. The Two weeks ago, we did Monza in the Genesis VGT. And it was awful. It was probably the most horrible time trial. And I love the time trials. That's one of the main things I like about the game. On a Thursday morning, I come in and I put on the time trial and we go and try and get a gold time. I, I really enjoy doing it. But I've actually only managed a silver time on the, the Monza one with the, the VGT. I've been clipped away and I thought I gave up trying to go back to it. I was bored of it. And it was such a, such a horrible car to drive and a really bad combination. that I thought, why am I wasting my time doing that? But let's see what GT7 could be. We've got Group 1s, and we've got it at Bathurst over in Australia. Of course, that famous circuit. So here we are at Bathurst, and it is a kind of funny combination. But what about it? It would be something else to see these kind of cars racing at Bathurst, Group 1, maybe on a race B or a race C. So not maybe hundreds of laps, but it would be, you know, it would be competitive, it'd be fun. And there is room to overtake. You've got these long straights followed by big hairpins as well. So that would allow people to overtake quite a bit. And it would be quite fun to do a combination like this. I also managed to do a grid start. Now I can understand for group one, you probably wouldn't want to do a grid start, but even a rolling start here, but with the other two, like the, the Radicals and then the Valkyries before it, doing a grid start would be absolutely possible. So let me know what you think. What kind of cars would you like to see in the daily races? Something a bit different. Yes, it would be Group 4, Group 3, that's great. Especially for those of you who do the Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup. It makes a lot of sense to have these kind of races to practice on. And maybe they could do that more. We have the, have the races that are going to be used in those uh, Nations and Manufacturers Cup as maybe an extra race that people can go into them and practice them. Um, but for the rest of us, let's have something a bit more fun, Polyphony, if you're listening. It would be much better to have a range of cars that we could just have a go in and just have a laugh. Proper racing soft tyres so you can go flat out. And yes, there could be somewhere you have to do a tyre change, no problem with that. And even one on, on the fuel, the fuel um, stops are actually quite interesting and make you think. Um, although I, I don't like having to fuel safe so much, especially in proper racing cars. Um, I prefer just to be able to go flat out and have some fun. But even if there was a point where, because it uses so much fuel, you have to come in and do a stop, fair enough, that would be, that would be absolutely fine. 
But there's lots of other tracks. I mean, we use Sardinia an awful lot. We use Lake Maggiore an awful lot. Um, there's obviously Tsubas on most, <laughs> probably once a month, just about. Um, it would be nice to see some other track combinations done, like even Sardinia uh, windmills on, you know, using a normal car, but maybe using the, the dirt tyres. Yeah, like the, the Ford F-150 pickup is a fantastic car. Um, there's actually a race on that when you do the, the single player mode um, at, at uh, Lake Louise, the new one that they've got from Canada. Um, so that would be fun. So there's all sorts of great combinations we could use, but at the moment all we're getting is GT3, GT4, usually on ropey tyres and, you know, cars that aren't that great. I'd rather drive a blooming Volkswagen Beetle <laughs> than some of these cars, or just, you know, it could be a tuned Volkswagen Beetle. Just put it on the lightest tyres you've got, lightest body shell, again, provide the car for you so we can just jump in and drive. I don't know about you, but I just think when it, the more complicated it gets, the less fun it is to be able to just come into this game and enjoy it and drive it. And there's a little bit of that as well on the time trial. If you're going to have a normal car, put it on at least sports tyres. Surely you would want to have sports tyres um, or racing tyres potentially, because if you were going to take a car like that and do a track day, you would you would put performance tyres on it. You wouldn't put, well put retreads on it. And that's sometimes the kind of cars that you get, especially when they had that Honda Civic, the really the super tuned Honda Civic that was it was at Tsuba um, a couple of months back. I mean that was almost impossible to drive because it was overly tuned. It was like driving something out of the Fast and the Furious. Now perhaps you like that. Perhaps you like the movies, but the cars were awful. You know, if you drive these cars, they've been so badly tuned and not done by experts. They're just done by somebody in their, <laughs> somebody in their spare time who doesn't know, who just thinks, make it lower, take away the suspension, and it'll be fine. You know, the cars are awful to drive. You know, it's not like they've got Adrian Newey doing the design and engineering to make them really, really good. Um, so that's what we want. We want something that's fun, that's decent, that's well set up for us. Forget about all these blooming setups. We don't need that. That's for, if you want to do manufacturers with that, fair enough. But the rest of us, we just like to come onto the game, have some fun, play it, enjoy it, and then we'll play more and we'll have a lot more fun and we'll see how it goes from there. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll be back very soon.